everyone, and welcome back to Sugar Pills, a practical guide to self-care if you're listening to the podcast, and welcome back to The Lux Life if you are watching us over on YouTube. But either way, be sure to like, rate, review, and subscribe and share this with a friend. As always, I'm Candy Washington, and I am so honored to help you attract more love, wealth, and joy into your life. And today's episode is all about the top red flags when dating. These ones are primarily on, you know, first date red flags. So if you're on a first date with someone and this stuff is coming up, these are, in my opinion, it might be different for you, but in my opinion, these are some of the top red flags. But before we dive in, don't forget to join us for our seven day level up your life challenge. It is all linked below in the show notes and in the description box. You also get a lifetime access to our Lux Life VIP group and our self-love journal. But I will give more details on that at the end of this episode, at the end of this video. So be sure to stay tuned to the very end to get the scoop on that. So without further ado, let's dive into some top red flags when dating someone. And it's usually like the first thing. So the first red flag is that they talk constantly and negatively. <laughs> well, constantly and negatively um, about their ex. You know, if you were on a date with someone and they are constantly talking about their ex, it doesn't even have to be negative. They are just constantly talking about their ex. That is a huge red flag. Usually that means that they are not over the relationship. They're, they're not. You're not on a date with somebody new and your ex is on your mind. That's a huge red flag. It means they're not in a place where they should be dating. They're wasting your time. They're using you as a way to either get over their ex or as a distraction, but clearly it's not working. Like, it's okay to take time to heal from a breakup. You know, don't waste other people's time. So if you're on a date and you, you're a person that you're on a date with is constantly talking about their ex, huge red flag. Particularly if they're talking about your, their ex negatively, because this also means that once that person is no longer, not necessarily of value to them, but if that person is no longer doing anything for them, this is how they talk about them. This is how they treat them. And that also shows this is how they may treat you. <laughs> you know, people are who they are. So if you're talking to someone and they're talking negatively about their acts, if they're doing this, that, and the third, then they may do that to you too down the road. So that's just a huge red flag. They should be invested in you not in talking about their ex. The next red flag is that they ask you to go Dutch. So I'm only talking about um, hetero in this one. I'm only talking about men and women because I'm not a part of the LGBTQIA community. So I'm not really sure. And I don't want to um, misspeak or represent incorrectly. I'm not sure how it goes when it is same sex. I'm not sure if the person who asked the person out on the date, you know, pays or what the situation is. So for this, I'm just talking about um, guys and girls. So yeah, so I just wanted to say that because I'm not trying to discriminate by any means at all. I'm thousand percent inclusive. All right, let's get back on track. So I think that the person who, if they ask you to go Dutch to pay for it, then I think that is a huge red flag. And again, this, these are just my personal red flags that I think of. If you are totally fine with paying for your own dinner or paying for the date or whatever, then that is a thousand percent okay. But I'm just saying, I think it's a huge red flag if someone asks you on a date and then they expect you to pay. Maybe it's old fashioned, I don't know. Maybe it's traditional, but I just think that it's really nice for you to be in your feminine energy, you know, for you to be able to show up, for you to be able to receive, you know, for someone to treat you in a chivalrous way. Like I don't think chivalry is that. I don't think it means you're a gold digger. I don't think it means any of those things. I think it just means that you're looking for someone that you want to be in a partnership with. So just my own personal opinion, I think it's a big red flag 
when someone wants you to pay for your own date. I just think it's a huge, huge red flag. Again, I don't want to speak for any other community, but that's just what I think. So I think that's a big red flag. And also, I think just because someone pays for your dinner, buys your drink, pays for the date, that does not mean you owe them anything. You don't owe them a kiss. You don't owe them sex. You don't owe them coming over your house. You don't owe going to their house. No, we have to normalize actual dates. Just because someone pays something for you does not mean that they are entitled to any part of your body at all. So if you're on a date with someone, guy or girl, whatever the situation is, and they think just because they paid for the date that they are entitled to kiss you, hook up with you, whatever the situation is, that is also a massive red flag. Massive. You don't owe anyone anything simply because they bought dinner. You're worth more than that. Of course, if that is how you feel, if that is what you authentically want, whatever. But no one is entitled access to you in that way because they bought you dinner or they bought you a drink or they picked you up for the night. So no, that is another huge red flag. The next red flag is that the person who asked you out, you know, they don't even plan the date. You know, like you get together and like, well, what do you want to do? I don't know. Like, what do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want? Like, no, 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 no. You, and again, these are just my personal red flags, but I believe that you want the person to be decisive, not passive. You want the person to be organized, not chaotic. You know, you want the person to have put in some effort. Like, of course, they could say like, well, you know, like what type of food do you like or what kind of activities do you like? So, of course, they want to cater to what your interests and preferences are as well. But then they put in an effort to actually plan the date. You know, I think sometimes we get caught up with like swiping right and swiping left and, you know, let's just do like a quickie or whatever it is that we forget that you deserve to be courted. You deserve to have someone plan something from you. You know, oh, I, you said you like Italian. Well, I booked us a place at this really great Italian restaurant. You know, is it, do you want to meet there? Do you want me to pick you up? Do you want me to call you an Uber? Like, what do you want? But they put the effort in. And I think sometimes we get caught up in thinking that, well, if we hit it off, then they'll put in effort. No, <laughs> they, you need to start as you mean to go on because it's really, it's not impossible, but it's harder to course correct. So if you start the relationship off where you're paying half of the bill or you're paying his stuff too, or he's not really making any plans, wants to do a Netflix and chill or wishy-washy or being passive, not really sure about it, right? If that's how you start, then it's gonna be harder down the line to be like, well, you know, actually it would be great if you put in effort, actually it'd be great if you plan something, you know, actually it'd be great if you treated me to dinner, you know? It's a lot harder to change behavior and patterns down the line. That's why I think it's really important to be clear on what the dynamic, what the patterns, what the behavior, what type of relationship you want, what type of person you want to be in a relationship within in the very beginning. Because as you get to know someone, as you start building the relationships, both people are showing the other person how to treat them. So if you tolerate no effort, that's what you're going to get. If you don't require chivalry, that's what you're going to get. If you don't require respect, if you don't require people putting effort into it, to having access to you, then that's what you're going to get. So you want to look out for these red flags and you want to have those standards in place from the beginning because it's a lot harder to course correct down the road. The next red flag is that they cancel or continuously postpone the date. Of course, emergencies pop up, you know, things happen. So maybe the first time or one time, okay. But if someone is consistently flaky, postponing, super late, all of those things, 
Again, start as you mean to go on. That is a red flag. Either you're not a priority for that person, they're dating other people, but you're not on the top list. So you go down on the totem pole, or maybe they're actually just not in the right place in their life. Some people are busy. Sometimes they do have really demanding jobs. Um, you know, maybe they're working on a project, maybe a parent is sick, maybe a sibling or whatever it is. That's fine. But it's also a red flag because it means that person is not in the place to actually be dating. If you can't prioritize the other person, showing up on time, keeping your word, making dating that other person a priority, then that just means you're just right now just not in the place to be dating. So don't waste people's time. You know, don't flake, don't cancel, don't show up late, don't do all that jazz, because then they're just wasting your time. Either you're not a priority or they're not in a place to show up for you in a way that you deserve to be shown up for. So those are some other big red flags. And then the last red flag, or just for this list, because there's some other ones, is that they don't stop talking about themselves. They're not actually interested in learning about you or engaging with you. You know, they're just telling you their, you know, what they did today, what they did next week, you know, their whole laundry list. Maybe they're trying to like impress you with like everything they've done in their life, all of their awards and accolades and how much money they make, what car they drive, blah, 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 blah. But that's all ego-based. If you're having a conversation with someone and they're only talking about themselves, they're, they're, all, they're not really engaging with you. That is a huge red flag because that means they're just not maybe compatible or in the place to actually build a relationship, a partnership, getting to know each other. They're just out here flexing and talking about themselves. So if they don't ask questions about your life, if they're not interested in who you are, and the only thing they care about is talking about themselves, that is a big red flag. Because you don't want to be in a relationship with someone who is cocky, conceited, and selfish. And it's all about them, 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 them. When it should be about us, 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 we, we, we. So that's a big red flag. So there you have it. Those are some of my top red flags in dating. And again, those are just my personal red flags. At the end of the day, you know what's right for you. You know what is a red flag for you. You know what your uh, values and standards and boundaries are. So always trust yourself. And again, these are just what I think are red flags, but trust your gut, trust yourself and protect yourself out here, guys. <laughs> so with that, there you have it. Don't forget to like, rate, review, and subscribe to the podcast and the YouTube channel. And don't forget to join us for our seven-day Level Up Your Life Challenge. It kicks off on March 1st. With that, we are doing seven days of weekly coaching calls. You'll get guided worksheets, a supportive community. You'll get lifetime access to our Lux Life VIP group. That's normally $29.99 a month, but if you sign up for the challenge, which is only $22.20, then you will get lifetime access to our Lux Life VIP group. You also get a free digital copy of our Journey to Self-Love Journal, and you'll also get access to our library of resources. It's all about self-care, self-love, and manifestation to attract love, joy, and wealth into your life and get a high self-concept, high self-esteem, and high self-worth. So be sure to check out everything linked in the show notes and the description box. And if you have questions, go over to Instagram at Candy Washington, shoot me a DM, give me a follow, and I will answer you. Or you can email assistant at candywashington.com and someone from my team will get back to you. Until next time, be well. And don't forget to share this with a friend. Mwah. Bye.